Love you though. With a snap back in a suit on like it's draft day. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time, please like and subscribe. My name is Edwina Ubu. So I'm going to be telling you all about my experience coming to the UK to study during a pandemic. Um, I'm going to leave the link to my friend's uh, video in the description bar. Her name is Diana Ekwema, a popular YouTuber. You already know her. And, you know, go and watch that video and listen to her own opinion about this topic. So let's just get right into it. So I'm currently doing a Master's of Public Health um, in the UK. And <sighs> first things first, studying in a pandemic. Wow. 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 Listen, they need to add when they're giving me my degree, they actually need to add at the bottom that I studied during the pandemic because it is not easy. It is. <sighs> wow. Okay. So for most of you that don't know, I actually did my undergrad here in the UK a couple of years back and I came back here again, you know, to do my master's. And I actually started uni in September. That was when my course, like my course officially started. And, you know, we've been um, having classes up until now. Now, everything we've been doing since September up until like today or today's yeah, well, up until today has been online. Every single thing. I need you to really take that in, like every single thing from having your classes to doing your coursework even down to going to the library so basically when when it comes to like the whole library talk it's more or less like you going on your student portal and then when you click on your student portal basically a part opens and then it says library and summons and then you click on there and whatever resources you need from the library books journals articles anything you need is literally an ebook and it's there so i mean the uk has like a really good educational system you can see how they basically adapted and incorporated uh you know like um resources like m m basically made things easier like i'm still going to graduate when i need to graduate you know there's n nothing like holding me back however <laughs> no <laughs> it's a whole it's it's a lot it's quite overwhelming honestly especially for someone who i mean personally i did school like i did my undergrad here so it's i mean there are a few things that are not new to me but then there's still a few things that are quite like overwhelming i'm still like wow so i can imagine someone who did not do the like their undergrad here and or is, or is coming here for the first time to do like your undergrad and it's going to be quite challenging honestly joining your classes from using your computer to like microsoft teams or my school uses micro microsoft teams and we also use zoom and you know for the first couple of weeks it was quite interesting i was like oh okay how nice i would literally roll out of bed join class let's say like i have a class at 9 15 and it's like oh well i don't really need to wake up or do anything until what nine o'clock and then yeah just you know roll out to join class and i mean initially yeah it was cool it was all right like it, it was easy because and also when you think about the fact that the uk is cold as well it's like oh, even perfect like you don't even have to go out you're just in your room you're warm um i mean for some lectures i did have to turn on my videos so for those ones obviously you, you kind of get ready you know the top bit not necessarily your bottom <laughs> but but then there are some classes that you don't necessarily need to turn on your um, video and by the way for my classes like most of them um they were well, they are recorded so as we're having the classes like they recorded and i think that is also to help with attendance um i'm not 100 yeah i think well i mean other than attendance like for you also to be able to go back and be able to watch these videos so i mean all of this you can see where like uni is like a, a lot of investors here you can see where they're actually trying to like put in work and make sure everything is working good like yeah i mean it's on it's it's nice it's good however why am i paying classroom based fees and i'm learning online because if you check basically you're not using any of the school facilities and isn't that why they charge you so much pounds and so much money because obviously you're coming to use school facilities for for most lab based um classes you're probably going to the labs you're you know you're going to the library you're using the gyms but now you're not doing any of that you're not going to the labs you're not going to the library and let me even talk about the library protocol First things first, nowadays, it's not even like back in the day when what well, probably after class, you know, you guys just stroll and waltz into the library, like you know, like you guys own the place, eh? No, it's very different. It's like you basically um 
have to go on your uni portal and then pre-book you have to let them know that you are actually coming to the library uh and then you pick like obviously you tell them what time you're coming to the library putting your student details and then you go to the library uh and then that's when you're allowed to obviously go to the library because i guess you're watching obviously capacity uh because of covid and when you now get to the library it's like you're wearing your mask throughout you can't you're not taking your mask off right so imagine <laughs> Imagine like back in the day where you probably wanted to go to the library for what? Eight hours. So eight hours straight, you're wearing your mask, you're not taking it off. And then the social distancing as well is really, really like, whew, it's a lot basically. Because, okay, for example, the last time I went to the library, I got to the library. Like, the section I went to, I was like, there were like five people already there. So, I mean, I joined in, I was just chilling, doing my work. And the next thing I look up and I realize I'm the only one there. Like every single person has gone. And I'm just like how how is there nobody in the library other than me and then i looked at the time because i'm like wait how and then it's like what five o'clock mind you the library closes at 8 p.m unlike during my undergrad days where yo like 1 a.m i'm still at the library studying and i'm you know and i i even when i'm leaving at 1 a.m i leave people in uni still like obviously still at the library you don't have all of that you don't get all that experience students like like that is the whole student life like you know all of that like those are the stories you tell you cannot you don't have any story to tell student life is messed up if you're somebody who um other than obviously coming to uni to study you also look for to the social experience um i think this may probably not be the best time for you to come honestly speaking i don't think you should come another thing is if you think about it bills rent you're here sitting down in your bedroom paying rent you're not going anywhere and you're literally just having classes from your computer why would you even do that <laughs> that's why i ask myself every day i'm like why <laughs> and yes the lecturers are i mean they're really putting in their work they're trying i know for a fact that at least with assignments they're also very lenient at the moment like for example if you're not able to submit your coursework on time they you i mean you can probably email your lecturers and you're like oh um please i need you know a little more extension because i haven't been able to you know finish your coursework basically. because it's a lot it's mentally mentally it's really draining i mean so lecturers are very understanding they can give you a week off you know like you know try to sort it out and they wouldn't like deduct any marks or nothing um however you know like obviously if you need more time i think two weeks and above that's when you need to like you know come with like evidence and then of course i think i just said you know so many times so you need to come with like evidence and let them know why you need more time well also for me all my exams are actually now costworks so i i mean on one hand some people some people are like oh yeah nice blah 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 but then not everybody likes costworks some people excel more in exams right so for somebody who i don't know about you but like for people who uh probably do better with exams over costworks it, they, you may find it a little bit difficult right now because well for my uni i don't know about other unis and my course um yeah that is what's going on right now they basically um turned all our um exams into coursework because you know they were anticipating that oh we're going to come back into classes like and that was another reason why i even moved all the way up here because i i was up the because when i came to the uk i was actually with my family in london and then uh because my school kept on being like oh yeah um you know we're going to have classes so i now actually moved all the way down to uni and then i come here and then it's like oh there's a national lockdown and so obviously we can't have classes we can't go into uni and it's just it's a lot to say the least honestly it is not just the same like meeting people is not just the same like you do you know up to today up to date since i arrived in the uk last year uh in october i have never met my classmates i have never met my lecturers i have never met my graduate assistant i have never met anybody <laughs> i haven't i just haven't and when i mean meeting i mean meeting them like in person because at the end of the day there is definitely a difference between meeting somebody online meeting them in person like you know you just get a better feel of people's energies like when you meet them like in person but I haven't had the opportunity to do that thanks to COVID. You don't get to do activities. You don't get to go out. You don't get to party. If you like to party, you can never party. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then for some people they'll say oh yeah i think this is the best time to study because like you know you don't have any extra noise like obviously all these activities and you know outings they're all cancelled at the moment so you can really focus um not exactly not exactly i don't want to study every single time i don't want to put my head in the book 24 7 um and like the saying all work and no play makes jack a dull boy and you know why i truly believe that right now if i never believed because they, they, i had this coursework and i really studied i was really reading and reading and reading and i feel like i read so much my brain got so saturated <laughs> that when it was now time to actually put down the knowledge i had finished reading like put it down i couldn't i just couldn't i just couldn't bring myself to type down everything like it's like the information is in my head but i just i could not just type it out and i was like wow really and truly all work and no play makes jack a dull boy so not yeah so when people say oh yeah this is the, no 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 well for every i mean different strokes to different folks i'm telling you my own person like how it is doing me basically for me it's a no no like mm, 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 mm. when i think back to undergrad experience i'm like what this is this is not it at all or okay if you're somebody who likes uh for example retail shopping and that helps you to declutter your mind you know release the stress all of that i'm sorry to bust your bubble and let you know that retail store like stores are closed you cannot all those high street shopping all of that cancelled and then if you want to shop go online but it's like uh, it's not the same it's not even the same you know when you're like trying on clothes and you're with your friends you're like oh does this look nice uh, yeah no you don't get none of that it's like you buy it online <laughs> and then when it comes <laughs> when it comes to your house and you can try it on and know if it looks good and then what well, after that if it doesn't look good then you're not like what well, trying to pack it up and then post it back which is just a whole lot of process and then this even brings me to um to discuss jobs so most international students if you're coming to the uk it's probably your parents sponsoring you or a guardian or um you have a scholarship almost all international students are entitled to 20 hours of work time in a week so which is part-time yeah so um because of the pandemic a lot of people have lost their jobs it's not like it's not just you hearing it on the news for a fact a lot of people have lost their jobs i said a lot of places are shut down so even the jobs that probably back in the day you probably thought okay you would get right now it's like everything is limited there's a lot of limitation basically so for example i know people who have been in the uk for like over three months and they've been looking for jobs and up till now they don't have a job and then some of them have decided you know what okay i'm leaving this city another thing it could depend on the city you are so some people have decided okay you know what fine i'm leaving the city since technically most of my um most of what i need to do anyway is online so it's like it's on your computer as long as you have your laptop honestly you can study from anywhere as long as you have your laptop but in this world i can be in bora bora i can be on an island <laughs> i can be sipping pina colada and doing my uni work <laughs> and so i know people who have literally like tried to move around you know move to like a different city to see if they'll find work i know people who have decided they're going back to their countries uh because another thing it's a mix when you come to uk to study you meet people from different um countries so it's not just it's not even just africans i'm talking about here or nigerians i'm talking about like generally people from america people from asia like it's general um so yeah like you really need to consider that as well if you if you were ever of the impression or the notion that you would probably come here and then you'd be able to work and you know get some money you may not be so lucky that's just the fact i mean there are people who are lucky and yes they, they they came into the uk and you know uh within a few weeks they were able to get jobs but then, but then not everybody may be that lucky to actually secure a job immediately like a few weeks into your arrival in the uk so i think that's something you really need to think about it's been a lot for me personally and especially when it even comes to the mental health aspect of it but the, like when you hear about mental health just like eh well technically i'm african it doesn't really affect me <laughs> think again think again think again about that me i'm one of the people who will be like oh i'm very strong-minded i am i'm good in that aspect but 
what i have seen this past few weeks what i have experienced like <sighs> it's quite depressing if you really do not have a family here and you're just coming on your own and you're just you, you like you're just coming on your own <sighs> please think again like think again honestly like first things first if you imagine coming into the uk uh the first thing you have to do is you have to quarantine for two weeks right in quarantine you literally cannot go anywhere so if you're coming here for the first time and you don't have like what a bank account you don't have a uh, uk number you know little things like this like have you thought about like how are you going to buy groceries like little things like that can actually stress you on my part it was different for me because already i did actually have a uk bank account um when i arrived i actually bought um a sim card at the airport immediately um and then when it came to like maybe aspect of groceries and buying one or two things luckily i was going to a family home so i did not need to really think so much about that but then for you who probably don't have anybody this is what like you, your first time in the uk you're just coming here to you know obviously get a better education and all of that probably think about that like because all of that actually begins to stress you like stress you out in the long run and then when you're now alone you're just in your room on your own like you're having your classes from your room you're having your library from your room you're have you're doing your coursework from your room everything is happening from your people okay there are some people that are even making money like online and part-time jobs online from their rooms <laughs> it's a lot dear it's really really a lot okay oh let's not talk about hair if you do not know how to make your hair <laughs> i'm sorry for you or if you don't if you do not know how to bob your hair i'm sorry for you i'm really sorry because you're going to have it's either you're going to learn or you pack your hair because the, the hairdressing salons, like all of that is shut down. It's shut down. Eat me while you really need to take walks. But I uh, let them not catch you because they can also find you <laughs> if you're just moving aimlessly. That's another thing. But yeah, you just see everywhere. It's just so quiet. Like, ah, no, 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 no. It's really, it's really, this is tough. Tough times. Tough times, honestly, people. So my point is, I'm not saying don't come to the uk and not get a degree because you'll not be like oh yeah you are you not here getting your own degree blah 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 my point is it is not so easy like it's not as easy or as rosy as it used to be back in the day at the moment there is actually a pandemic so things are really different things are limited so you really need to consider all of that you need to think about the fact that you can be saving some money you can literally like because for me i don't have to pay rent like that like well i'm paying rent oh let me do a pass let me know but i am paying rent so like sometimes when i'm thinking it's just like i don't have to pay rent like i don't have to be here like doing these pay like why why paying for bills like why why are you doing that save your money save your coins save your money save your coins honestly and then when things when things begin to ease like get better then you can come to the uk that's my point basically i'm not saying don't come of course the uk is a great country please come anyway my point is you can literally do your degree from anywhere in the world so you don't necessarily need to be in the uk you don't necessarily need to travel right now save your flight money for later on how about you save your rent money like all that maintenance fee the extra uh, uh nine thousand plus pounds that you have to be spending on rent and all of that like save your money and then you know save your money and then come later come later it's a, god god willing god's grace this pandemic is going to get better especially because well there's a vaccine at the moment so it's not like before when you know we did we did not know what to expect it's just like um how long i'm sure some people will be like okay you're saying don't come right now like how long are we going to wait blah 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 but there's hope now there's a little light at the end of the tunnel before we had it, it was pitch black but then now there's hope so i mean just wait a couple of months see how see how things are going and um, that's just what i'll tell you see how things are going keep asking questions list like um keep listening to like people people who are here right now people who are experiencing it keep you know 
listening to what they have to say and then make your decision based off of that okay so guys um that is it for me if you have any questions please leave them in the comments um if you're an international student studying in the uk at the moment please leave a comment in the comment section like i would like to know what your experience so far like how are you finding it are you find obviously i know it's difficult for us to make friends like in person well for me it's really difficult because you can't really see people um so yeah if you have any questions just let me know in the comment section if you would like to see maybe what a day in my life as a master's student studying in a pandemic let me know i will definitely put out that video so yeah guys see you in my next video thank you for watching